Um, what I found is that there are those within sort of the mystical connection who find it much easier to connect with the energy healing type stuff because it is that sort of mystical spiritual dynamic that others struggle with because of its association with new age or the occult and things like that. Now, reality is some things are counterfeited and people do do things for a wrong reason or wrong motive and they, they do do that, but truth is truth. Therefore, Jesus being the truth has revealed truth and people have picked up on that truth, whether they're believers or not. And some people operate in that truth, even though they don't know Jesus is the truth. Doesn't make it wrong, but some are operating in some measure of darkness and that can be sort of dangerous to be involved in but that doesn't mean that the truth is not the truth it's just their use of that truth may be mixed have a mixture or have a negative motive behind it so personally friends of mine nancy cohen lindy strong they are running wellness centers and in those wellness centers they operate with all sorts of frequency type things. They use technology, they use machines, Rife machines, gem therapy machines, light therapy machines, uh, beamer machines, all sorts of different things, plasma generating machines. Um, and they find the use of them very effective in helping people come into a state of healing or health or wholeness. Um, and because of the mystical dynamic and because they've engaged in the spiritual realm, the quantum dynamic of it all makes perfect sense. Seems to be harder for the pure universal or eschatology streams to get that because they're often more conservative in their approach initially. Um, but God is opening up the door for us to have experiences that will open up that reality. And when it comes then to some of the things that are, we would say are, are the energy healing stream, there are a number of people out there who would not class themselves as Christians, but are bringing a lot of health and wholeness to people by using those concepts. Joe Dispensenzo is one of them that a lot of Christians engage with. I'm not saying personally that i've engaged with him but i've seen a few things that he's put out and seen some of the things that he's done and actually i don't really have a problem with most of it i think i would be careful on the meditation that opens the mind to anything rather than the meditation that focuses the mind on jesus or the father i think that can be problematic but in general they're teaching people how to draw on the energy that god has placed within creation to bring about us living in wholeness and I think more people from the mystical find that energy healing stuff quite easy um, compared to those who are more conservative. But there are those who started in the energy field and we're looking more about how to bring healing and wholeness using essential oils or different things. And they're moving more into the mystic because, again, that whole dynamic of where the frequency, the vibration, the harmony, all those things come from leads you into that realm to experience it so i think people are coming from different directions but they're all drawing together in that one direction and i believe god is opening people's hearts to see ultimately where this is going into that river of restoration and we do need health and wholeness if we're going to live from an immortal perspective so i would say that god is taking people on a journey and people are at different stages of their journey ultimately he wants everyone to experience him as the way the truth and the life and as their father and be loved so that everything they do whether it be teaching about eschatology or teaching about universalism or teaching about energy or the mystery is all done in love so that love is the fundamental foundation for every one of those streams if they're going to operate and come together in God's perspective of it. And I think love is what will draw people into that place where they begin to come into a revelation of each aspect of the truth that God is revealing. And there may be other streams that I'm unaware of that he may be uh, engaging with, working with to bring into the truth of that revelation so i would encourage you again as you say to rest and, and enjoy 
enjoy God's love and presence and let him open up the door. I believe your spirit is engaging whether your soul knows it or not. Uh, we are seated with Christ in heavenly places, even if we might not be totally aware of it. But the more we train our senses, the more we learn to discern, the more these things will open up. I don't believe this knowledge was given illegitimately because I believe this knowledge was the knowledge that Adam already had and he already knew how to engage in the spiritual and the physical. He was clothed with glory. Now, obviously, that independent walk led him away from that knowledge. And there may be fallen angels and other things behind some of the counterfeiting or wrong use of that information. But God wants us to know how to live in a full, abundant way. And any knowledge released has been given through the Holy Spirit. People may have taken that knowledge and tried to twist it or use it for their own ends. But the reality is God is the source behind all healing. He's the source behind all love. He's the source behind all truth. Um, I believe true healing comes from God. There are healing that can be temporary that comes from a wrong source. And we've got to be careful about that. But ultimately, true healing is, comes from the healer. And God is our healer one of his names is our healer so initially i believe god releases knowledge truth into the world so that we can live out of that truth and knowledge um but as we say we're all on a journey and we're all moving hopefully towards that love perspective and as we do we will be able to come into a an agreement over where this is all going in terms of receiving that love and seeing that love bring the restoration of all things about. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.